so uh, every uh, direction uh, is um, in an if statement so for, for every direction there is an if statement so uh, if uh, a new direction has to be added now uh, a new if statement for each of uh, this new direction uh, should be added not only in one place but in all the places that uh, use the directions uh, so this is a uh, um, time consuming and uh, um, the, the solution would be to um, change uh, the way of how uh, the um, uh, of how the uh, information about the uh, exits is stored and instead of using uh, uh, variables uh, separate variables for um, separate variables for uh, the exits uh, a hash map could be used that maps from um, uh, uh, a direction name so the key would be a string to a room object uh, that uh, lies in that direction uh, and so the value will be a room object uh, however there is a problem of uh, tightly uh, uh, cap coupling uh, and um, uh, uh, yes there is a problem of tightly coupling because uh, 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 okay, so the theoretically, the only the implementation uh, of uh, the uh, room object uh, of the room class is um, affected by this change. So how the information is stored and uh, not in it's not um, what information is stored so uh, uh, it's only the implementation that is affected um, but um, So the implementation. Okay. So So ideally if uh A hash map is used so we change the implementation of room not uh, uh, class but this doesn't uh, happen because uh, the class game uh, references uh, the uh, the variables in room uh, different times 
So first, uh, there sh sh should be found a method. Uh, there should be found a way, a way to um, decouple uh, the classes, and then uh, a hash map can be used to store information about the access. Because otherwise, uh, these references will bring an error when the, these classes compiled, when, when the uh, room class won't have uh, these variables anymore. 